स्टूडेंट्स एंड पेरेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल विद अनदर साइंस ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो टुडे इन माय टुडेस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री दैट इज कंबर्शन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द प्रोसेस ऑफ बर्निंग ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस इन एयर विद द रिलीज ऑफ हीट एंड लाइट इज नोन एज कंबर्शन The substances that burns in air to produce heat and light is called a combustible substances. Wood, paper, kerosene, LPG are the examples of combustible substances. The substances that not burn in air is called a non-combustible substances. Stone, metal and plastic are the examples of non-combustible substances. Combustion is a chemical change. During combustion, substances like coal or charcoal react with oxygen in the air to form carbon dioxide and water. C plus O2 equal to CO2 plus heat. Hydrogen reacts with oxygen to form water. 2H2 plus O2 equal to 2H2O plus heat. And natural gas and biogas contain methane. which burns to produce carbon dioxide and water ch4 plus 2o2 equal to co2 plus 2h2o plus heat the minimum temperature at which a substance catches fire is called its ignition temperature if the ignition temperature of a fuel is very low then it will catch fire easily On the other hand if the ignition temperature of a fuel is very high then it cannot catch fire easily so it will be difficult to use it Substances like petrol kerosene alcohol and LPG have low ignition temperatures and can easily catch fire they are called inflammable substances kerosene can catch fire even if it is heated slightly therefore it needs to be stored carefully you have to be careful about using lpg in the kitchen no open flame should be allowed near the lpg cylinder there are mainly three types of combustions first one is rapid combustion which occurs when substances burn rapidly to produce heat and light Second one is spontaneous combustion which occurs when a substance starts burning suddenly even without being heated. Third one is explosion that occurs suddenly when a material is heated liberating a large amount of heat light and sound. Firecrackers are the best example of explosion. A fire extinguisher is a portable device that discharges a jet of water foam gas or other material to extinguish a fire the red colored cylinders used as fire extinguishers either have carbon dioxide stored under high pressure or have stored chemicals that react to release carbon dioxide there are mainly three types of fire extinguishers used for our daily life The first one is dry powder fire extinguishers. It contains sand and baking soda. When this mixture is thrown over fire, baking soda decomposes to release carbon dioxide which extinguishes the fire. Second one is soda acid fire extinguisher. It consists of a small glass bottle filled with sulfuric acid that is supported in a strong iron vessel containing sodium bicarbonate solution. On striking the knob, the bottle containing acid breaks and carbon dioxide is liberated by the action of the acid on baking soda. Third one is foam fire extinguisher. A solution of aluminum sulfate is taken in the glass bottle which releases foam of carbon dioxide to extinguish fire. So, I hope my today's video will become helpful for you. Stay tuned to my channel and definitely follow my all videos to get good marks in science. Bye bye.